What's up? Thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be covering the Tolster Sidekick here. Uh, I know personally there are thousands upon thousands of you carrying Tolsters every single day. And I know this because y'all have bought using our link over the past four years. We've had an amazing relationship with Tolster and y'all have sent me so much great feedback with this company. But if there's one thing that y'all have asked for, probably more than anything from Tolster, is a claw-like device. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. Uh, if you're watching this day one, the installation video is coming up very soon here in the next couple hours. If you're watching this in the future, I do have a separate installation video, so we don't have to go over too much of that stuff. We can just get right into the uh, the sidekick here. So this is going to retrofit to all profile holsters. So if you've looked at Tolster, if you have one currently, or if you're looking at getting one, this is going to be a great add-on item. They're $12.99. So our discount code isn't going to work, but again, that's not going to break the bank. They're $12.99 for this and you can retrofit it. When you get it from Tolster, you're gonna to get two different sizes. You have the medium here, which is gonna work for your single stacks. Uh, it's gonna work for your like half stacks, kind of like what the P365 is, um, or smaller double stacks, if you will. And then you have the large, which is really gonna work best. For we'll see y'all in the next one. And as always, hold them down. So the fine folks at Concealment Express reached out to me a little while ago and asked if I'd like to review one of their holsters. Since I'm always on the lookout for fresh content for you guys, I said sure. Concealment Express makes their holsters from 0.08 inch thick Kydex. This particular model comes with an inside the waistband clip. It is adjustable for cant, which is the angle at which you hold the uh, pistol. By this screw, you loosen up the screw and you can move in this curved groove, which I'll put in a little bit of footage or a picture of here. You can adjust it to about 15 degrees cant or negative five degrees cant. I like to have it at the full 15 degrees. The tension on the holster, which as you can see where I have it adjusted holds pretty well, yet is able to come out fairly easily with a good positive retention. You just heard that click. Here's some footage of it being drawn. Anyhow, tension is adjusted via these screws here. All these screws, both on the belt clip and the tension, have rubber grommets in it so that there's some, uh, some play, yet it's still tight. So, you tighten that screw down and it has and you can get a lot more retention in it it's a lot harder to draw yet if you loosen it you can make it as easy to draw as you want I like a little bit more retention than that so there we go. Holster's cut so you can get a good full firing grip on it whenever you uh, put your hand on it to draw, yet the trigger is always covered. On the other side, it has the molding on it that uh, allows it to clear the safety. It also has the shield that comes up to cover the sights and the side of the pistol to protect your uh, skin and or undershirt from being chewed up. And as always, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together. I just want to do a quick review on this holster that I picked up. Uh, I use this for the Taurus G3C compact pistol, which, by the way, is a great uh, concealed carry, uh, everyday type pistol. Great size, very comfortable and reliable. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'd looked around for cases for the G3C and... Um, I found some, but they were a little pricier. I found this for an excellent price, and I figured I'd take a chance on it, and I'm glad I did. It uh, does the job. It's great. I mean, there's really nothing that I would change about it. Uh, it has uh, adjustable pressure, uh, adjustable cant here, so you can slide your clip this way or that way, depending on how you wear it. Uh, I found everything was just right, right out the box. I wear it front right, um, and uh, the clip was just right. The clip is very tight, so you don't have to worry about this popping out. Um, the pressure was just right. 
slips out nicely, you know, one-handed, uh, smooth on the inside, so you don't have to worry about uh, wearing out the gun, taking it in and out all the time. Clips in easy. I don't know if you could hear that. Try to get a little closer. Makes a nice click there to know that you put it back in. Nice and secure. Um, not going anywhere. Uh, so, really a solid uh, clip. I was surprised. It's got a, a trigger guard here, so you don't have to worry about automatic discharge. I'll show you what it looks like while. And that's really it, guys. If Take care. Hello! In today's first impressions video, we are taking a look at this belly band holster from Comfort Tac. And before we get this first impressions video started, guys, I just wanted to let you know, as always, that we do have a link down in the description to the Firearm Freedom merchandise store. Anything you purchase on that merchandise store greatly supports what I do here on Firearm Freedom. And if you enjoy the videos coming out here on the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on the content that we are posting every single week. So I just recently picked up this Comfort Tac belly band a couple of weeks ago from Amazon. I think I paid around $25 for this and it's still pretty much readily available and in stock. Those of you guys that have been watching this channel for quite some time know that I am consistently on this hunt to find a solution to all of the niche weird carry situations that I come across in my day-to-day -day life. A big reason why I was looking at a belly band setup was mainly for when I'm wearing basketball or gym type shorts in the summertime like we are in right now. I might be wearing those gym shorts when I'm leaving the gym or going to the gym or just taking a walk with Mrs. Freedom around the neighborhood and I never really found a solid solution for gym shorts. I tried to find it with the Comfort Tac. Now I have no affiliations whatsoever with Comfort Tac and this isn't a video to totally trash this holster or give it a really really bad name if anything i hope the constructive criticism that i give this holster in today's video will help out comfort tac if they ever see this in making a better belly band setup in the future because i think there are still some positives about this and i think with some small improvements this could really be a very very solid setup now i know what many of you are probably thinking joe what can you really expect from a 25 dollar holster on amazon but if you're familiar with belly bands they're all kind of in a similar setup the first as always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more great videos to come soon. Hello everyone, my name is Joseph J. Davis and in this video I will be discussing nylon holsters for concealed carry. Nylon holsters are very popular among new shooters for a few reasons. One, they're very inexpensive. Two, they're not model specific so one holster can fit a variety of handguns and three, because they are seemingly high quality. Now I want to emphasize seemingly because I'll see hundreds or thousands of four and five star reviews. These holsters are marketed for inside and outside the waistband carry. And that's what a lot of the reviewers are using them for. Compare that kind of feedback to let's say a Reddit post where almost every post I see of people carrying or are interested in buying a nylon holster are met with a solid wall of nylon is trash. So which is it? Well, I've got a solid list of what holsters need to do if they're going to be used for concealed carry. I got this list from Active Response Training, and I'll put a link in the description. Holsters need to fit the gun, obviously. They need to cover the trigger guard completely, protect the trigger from being pulled from outside, allow for a full firing. Thanks for watching.